Act, beginning with a mom demanding answers about why a teacher encouraged students to fight inside her classroom. This happened at Kimbrough Middle School in Mesquite Wednesday. The district says the teacher was a substitute and she has now been fired. WFAA's Cindy Persing is in our newsroom tonight after talking to a mother who has video of what happened. Sydney? Teresa, this mom is mad and she is not alone. We have blurred every child's face in this shocking video, but I warn you, what you are about to watch is disturbing. Sorry. This video is hard to watch oh, and hard to believe. Oh, oh, oh. The young boys oh. and young girls you see hit each other hard are only in middle school. The person instructing them to fight, that is their substitute teacher. Unacceptable. It's disgusting. Beatrice Martinez's 13-year-old daughter took this video. My anger, my rage was so much why I, I literally felt like I made myself sick. I start seeing blurry. Mesquite ISD tells WFAA the teacher is Natalie Garcia, confirms she not only encouraged her students to fight, but also outlined rules for them to follow, even made a student guard the door. Stand by that door and hold it. In, case somebody comes in. in the video, you see Martinez's daughter fidget nervously as she records, Ooh. as Garcia tells her students to put their phones away. I'm not joking. I'll take your phone to the I'm office. To make matters even worse, Martinez says her daughter is now receiving death threats for reporting the incident. I am not going to stand back with my hands crossed and wait for the phone call to tell me, oh, your daughter has been killed. The district told WFAA Garcia was employed as a sub on March 6th, terminated now and ineligible to be rehired in any capacity. Not nearly enough for Martinez. This lady needs to be behind bars. She really does. I'm not going to stop until she is. <laughs> Mesquite police has not charged Garcia with a crime, but confirms it is investigating the incident. <laughs> In Mesquite, I'm Sydney Persing. We have the district's full statement with this story on WFAA.com.